too. Okay, y'all, so we have to talk about Insecure. I got so many text messages and Facebook messages about why didn't you guys talk about Insecure last week? So this week we are going to talk about Insecure. So this episode was called Low Key Thankful, and we got to see everybody's Thanksgiving experiences. We got to see Ethan, her family. We got to see Molly still tripping about her dad at their Thanksgiving and the stripper shoes that I don't understand what's happening there. And then we got to see Condoleezza. Condola. Condola. Condola, yes. We got to see Condola Friendsgiving and how Lawrence invited himself to that Thanksgiving, right? He invited himself, right, guys? Yes, he did. He did invite himself, but I'm sorry. Like, it, it's a Friendsgiving. As Lawrence not your friend, like, I don't understand why she didn't instinctively invite him in the first place. Because she don't like him like that, okay? I think Lawrence likes her and is looking for more, and she's just using him as like a, you know, let me get over my ex-husband, and she doesn't really, she's not, she likes him, but she's not feeling him like that. I yeah. agree with you guys. I don't know what her situation is, but their little conversation at the, that their ending scene of them standing so far apart, meaning was physical and literal, like y'all are so far apart about where you guys want to be in a relationship, so it is what it is. So the next thing is, Issa's um, Thanksgiving with her brother at the Mexican restaurant when she admitted how she feels about how she built up Lawrence and now another woman has um, has him. It's benefiting and from it, yeah. It is, and again, I'm gonna put some money on blast. He has no one to put on, put on blast. He's my ex of many, many, many years. So I'm gonna watch this, Justin. When we first broke up officially, that was always my mindset. Like I have been through thick and thin with this dude and now he's better. And now another woman's gonna be benefiting from the all the hard work I put into that is not fair, even though I don't want to be with him. I just don't know what I want nobody else to benefit from my work. Right. No, I think yeah. that, you know, for any of us who are, um, you know, serial monogamous or anything like that, um, I'm guilty of, of doing it. I'll be in like four or five year relationships and, be, and then end it for no reason. Um, it's something that I think a lot of women deal with because we will be a, be a ride or die for a guy and then he finally gets a job or you finally start making some money or he finally started taking some medication. <laughs> and, oh my God. <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> and then, you know, he'll be with someone else. You just have to be cool with it. Honestly, you just have to yeah. find peace and move on. I think the problem um, for all women, but I think specifically even in the black community is that we are almost told or trained that we are supposed to be with men that have potential. I mean, we hear it all the time, like, oh, well, he's a good guy. Oh, well, you know, he'll, he'll do better in time. He just needs support and blah, blah, blah. It's that whole struggle love. And Issa and Lawrence had That's struggle love for five years. And she finally had enough of that daggone struggle love. Um, and it wasn't fair to Issa. And, but she's right. Like, if you see a man who's now making good money, he got his own place, you know, he can do things. He's taking women out to dinner, which they said like, oh, well, he like never could take her out. Could you imagine dating somebody for five years and they can't take you even out to dinner? Yes. Yes, I can. I did it for can. many years. Uh, I yes, can. yes, I can. But both of y'all is tripping. Don't ever right? do that again. Never. I'm not gonna lie, when I actually spoke to, I actually spoke to my ex really, really quick, and he didn't even realize he had never taken me out on a date in the five years we had been together. We had never been to the movies together. He had never, he'd only paid for dinner twice. Twice. So. That's a lot. That's a lot. All right, so Molly, I want to talk about Molly and thank you. Wait, Molly and his friendship. How that's oh. just going way left. Yeah, yeah, and it's just, you know, I know how I know how it feels. Um, I've definitely been there with 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 my friends before, and we always bounce back. Um, and I think it's great that they're trying they're capturing it and in this season. Um, but I just don't feel like the beef that they've had so far was a big. I mean, like it's not they haven't beef. given us enough. Yeah, it's, it's not, not a big beef. beef. But they're growing apart. They're growing yeah. apart as people, and we've all had that friends we've had for years and years. And you reach a certain point where. It's a split in the road and you realize, well, I still love you, but we don't have to be best friends on the talk every day, but I wish the best for you. And right. they, I feel like, are really going to hold on to that friendship as high as they can and it's messing them up. And it's going to make their, almost like their breakup or divorce is going to make it messy, right, Jen? Well, yeah. I, I think the problem that has a, a, arisen in Molly and Issa is that, keep in mind that Issa was in a five-year relationship. So she was monogamous all the way up until the end. 
Molly was the hot mess that was out doing all this stuff. So Molly always had Issa to tell her stories, to, to get advice. I think Molly is very selfish and mm -hmm. she's always been able to go to Issa with everything. And now Issa has her own life and her own other friends and she's doing her own projects. And Molly's like, wait a minute, no. Why are you being messy? And he's like, Molly, you've been messy forever. Yes. So like, don't look at me like now all of a sudden I'm a mess. Like I'm, I'm just doing like, I'm just now getting to where you were. Um, so their relationship is going to be strained. And then the last topic on the insecure factor, because I know we got to wrap it up, is Molly and her family's Thanksgiving and the fact that she is harboring this thing with her father as long as she has. And her brother put her in check and said, dad is just a man. Dads are just men. They make mistakes. Yeah. They do stupid stuff. Mom's yeah. over it. Why are you still out here wilding? Like, mom is over it. And the other thing that we can talk about really, really fast is why didn't she bring Andrew to Thanksgiving? That boy is perfect. Well, for in this scenario, he seems perfect. She Somebody didn't want to bring Andrew to Thanksgiving because he's Asian. She didn't want to bring Andrew to Thanksgiving because he's Asian. Period. He right. like, That's a dim sum at dinner. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Because black yeah, I think that was the main thing. She really, I mean, because she was even embarrassed when she showed the photo, you know? And ultimately, I don't think, Molly wants a relationship, but then I don't think she really wants a relationship. She, she's, even she's on the fence as to like where it's going and you know, all of that with him. So I don't know. I mean, I don't see that relationship really lasting because Molly's just, you know, Molly's Molly. I don't know. There was just too much tension in that household. And I think in, in that circles back to why I think Issa I decided just not to even go over and have pie with her. Um, right. So there's the cultural differences between Molly's family, Molly and Andrew, right? And that's why they did a really quick cut to the shoes that homegirl was wearing because in Latin culture, you go, you gonna, you gonna dress up, you gonna get hot for the holidays. And you know, in a black conservative household, that may have been too much, right? Shout so I just think there's just from Love and Hip Hop. That was, that that was that one? from Love and Hip Hop who actually was on that episode of Insecure. So shout out to her for transitioning oh. well. Very good. Oh, nice. she's transgender? No. Oh. She said, I'm I don't, I don't. Oh, she's. Yes, stop. Come back, please. <laughs> Come Girl, back. I'm in transition. I only see the scripted TV, fool. <laughs> okay. On that note, we're going to wrap up our insecure review. We will make sure we do this every single week. We will have it together better next week. So we will be back next time for your insecure review. Ooh, bye. <laughs>